I'd love to talk to you today about one of our sample apps. Um, at Macrometa, the address book sample app is really our equivalent of Hello World, uh, like you would find in any other development language. The address book app um, is available out on macrometa.dev under demos and tutorials. All of the code, the Git repository, everything, so that you can take a look at this and hopefully get up and running and productive as quickly as possible in Macrometa. This app also gives me an opportunity to talk you through the Macrometa developer dashboard and console and show you how the Macrometa address book sample app um, actually works in the real world, um, you know, showing data, keeping in sync, um, staying consistent, and being instantly available around the world on our GDN. Now over on the left hand side is the Macrometa uh, developer dashboard and when you log in you see various metrics um, about your tenant as well as a map here that shows you all of the locations, all of the pops or points of presence around the world uh, where Macrometa is deployed and your data is uh, kept synchronized. We're going to dive right into that data. Now we're going to primarily focus on the addresses a document collection, but I want to talk about what kind of collections we have. Uh, a collection is a grouping of data or a table in a traditional database sense. And we have a key value collection, which allows you to do extremely fast coordination free uh, key value lookups. Um, we have a document store, which I've mentioned, a NoSQL database that's extremely flexible and powerful. Now we have Dynamo uh, collection, a Dynamo mode, which allows you to plug in an existing uh, application that's utilizing Dynamo and um, have full compatibility with AWS Dynamo uh, SDKs and CLI. And finally, we have a graph edge um, capability, um, a graph database um, option here in this multi-model database that allows you to do extremely powerful stuff like uh, fraud detection or recommendation engines um, and so on and so forth. We're going to dive into the addresses collection and now if you'll note up here in the upper right, I'm in Denver, Colorado, and the closest pop to me is actually in Richardson, Texas. This React application that's over here on the right is connected up to um, streams in London. Um, I'm going to truncate the table just to start with. And we'll truncate the table again here in, in uh, the Texas pop. And you'll see the data immediately disappear um, uh, from London. And it's, you know, I don't have all of the different locations uh, pulled up or an application pointed to all of them but um, all of the data is gone in all of those locations. But that's no fun, we wanna add that back, right? So we're gonna go into our Query Builder tool, and I'm going to go myself to the Macrometa docs and go to Demos and Tutorials, and copy that data that will allow me to insert um, addresses into the address book. Now you can see our syntax is uh, somewhat of a hybrid between um, a JavaScript style syntax and a SQL style syntax. And we're going to execute this um, and the records are added and you can see that they're added in um, the London location as well. Again, I think of this as one global region versus um, a traditional single region uh, style of architecture. Um, one of the things that's uh, really powerful about Query Workers, where we're at right now, um, is the ability to immediately get power from these Query Workers in a microservices architecture. So I'm going to uh, very quickly uh, write the equivalent of a select star for docs and addresses, return docs. And we'll run this query and we get all of these records, which is great, right? Um, we can save that query and immediately make it available to everyone in a distributed fashion. So we'll do Shannon uh, test addresses. We'll save that. It's cool, right? Well, let's make it even more exciting. Let's click on API endpoint and we immediately get an API endpoint, a curl command that allows us to instantly play in a microservices architecture with um, queries that you've written here in Macrometa. Um, in a relatively simple manner without um, creating, you know, additional integration code to uh, put those in that microservices architecture. So um, I'm going to pull up Postman and we'll throw this uh, curl command in here just to test it out. This is going against a, a global URL, so it will 
um, execute this against the nearest region. And we'll hit send. And there's your data immediately available. Again, super powerful capability um, by immediately um, making queries that you've built available as uh, APIs. Now, an idea that I want to talk about is our um, event PubSub. Uh, we have full PubSub capability that's uh, Kafka and Pulsar and MQTT uh, capable. Um, and we can actually leverage that with the ideal that a table is a stream and a stream is a table. Now that sounds confusing, but I want to just show it in action. We're going to go right into the addresses collection, which we were looking at. We'll click stream. We'll go into open in console, which gives you a real live terminal view of um, the streams. And what you can do with this is your applications, uh, wherever they're at, can subscribe to the changes in the table. Um, you know, via via these uh, streams, like when you enable um, a table as a stream, um, you can update those streams and make changes happen to the table and vice versa. You can consume those uh, changes uh, via subscription. So, for instance, I'm going to remove Joseph Smith um, in London. Here you go. Here's the event um, showing that you've deleted that particular item. Um, I'm going to edit Astrid Young and make it Angus Young, the fine guitar player for ACDC. We'll update it, and there you go. Now, one feature that I'm not going to dive into really in uh, this demo is the ideal of stream workers. But um, from a high level, a stream worker allows you to enrich and enhance and manipulate and cleanse and republish data that's not only in flight but at rest. Um, and it's, it's so powerful for creating uh, complex applications and complex logic uh, utilizing Macrometa um, in a streamlined, efficient, developer-friendly way. But we'll go into that uh, into our, in our next video. Now, our search capability allows you to define a search view. You can you know, obviously create a name for this. You can um, select the collections that you add in this uh, search view so that you can have a search that works um, a, via, you know, query language or API across all of um, all of the collection or as many as you select uh, different text analyzers, uh, so on and so forth, giving you the power of search views that you might see in um, other search uh, capabilities all in one converged platform. I mentioned graphs. Um, Again, graphs give you the capability to, to preserve um, relationships over time and infer, um, you know, you know, you log into your favorite online bookstore and um, get a recommendation that, you know, your friend, um, your friend John uh, also liked these books and, you know, Sarah liked them too. Well, in this case, you see it's six, degree, six degrees of separation for Bob um, showing these relationships and it, and it empowers you to do um, incredibly powerful things that you've probably used every day and you don't realize that a graph database is behind. Geofabrics um, give you the ability to pin data to regions. So, for instance, I could pin data to Frankfurt and London and make sure that the users associated with, you know, a particular uh, API key, for instance, it's tied to this geofabric. Um, their data would not replicate physically outside of that region um, and help and it would help you comply with um, whether it's you know corporate rules or um, things like gdpr and other regulatory things that require you to uh, localize data i think it's uh, important to point out um, that uh, macrometa is um, fully available via python and javascript um, sdks that allow you to connect with and interact with Macrometa um, at a programmatic level where you don't even have to log in uh, to this console uh, to use it um, as a developer. And you have a full API reference here within the console if you want to dive in and um, see what's available, test out the API, see how they work. Um, with that said, um, I look forward to talking to you in my next video uh, where we'll dive into um, some sample apps that utilize that stream worker capability. Have a great day.